the f*** is the cat doing in the- Oh god, is she gonna put the cat in the stew? I don't understand the pickled beets. What is going on with the pickled beets? Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Gaining Ground. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking on that subscribe button down below. I got another reaction video. I am coming off a high from my sister's wedding weekend. As you can see, I sound like garbage. So, since I already feel like a sack of crap, I figure, why not react to a foodie beauty video? How much worse can I feel? Oh, I'm sure I'll regret that question in about 17 minutes. Apparently, Chantel, aka Dragon Claw, aka Pathological Liar, aka Therapy Goddess, aka whatever the hell she calls herself these days, was feeling her inner African goddess. So she decided to make a mafe, I looked it up to make sure I pronounced it correctly, African stew recipe and mukbang. So I anticipate close ups of a dirty pot or a crock pot, followed by her chewing on camera telling us she's got therapy coming up and maybe a Charlie Gold comment. I don't know, <clears throat> but I apologize for my raspy voice, but I'm feeling after this video is over, my raspy voice, voice is going to be the most entertaining thing you've seen in this video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it and get this over with. The f is the cat doing in the, oh God, is she gonna put the cat in the stew? I hope not. I hope not. I swear to God, if she harms that, if I see that cat getting thrown in a stock pot, I'm out. So stupid. Hello. Oh, and this video is short. I sped it up because I just know she's going to aggravate the crap out of me. So I don't feel good. So let's just speed it up. Hello, foodie beauties. Here's my stupid cat with glasses on. But you know what? Those glasses look better than that garbage Pete Pete's Peter was wearing. Oh, God! She's gonna cook the cat, isn't she? BBW. Yes. Sam. Sam. Meanwhile, he's back there playing video games like this, bitch. Look at this body. Look at this pink nose. So is she making this for BB? Because I think someone told me BB's from Africa. Is this like a last-minute ploy to keep BB around? Hey, BB, uh, please don't leave. I made you some mafe face stew. Strike a pose. Oh, gross. Why? 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 What is this? Is she trying to branch out? It's a West African peanut stew. Beef, potatoes, carrots, jumbo cubes. I don't know what that is. Water, beef broth, black pepper, unsweetened peanut butter, two tablespoons of sriracha, tomato paste, onion chopped, garlic, and apparently an annoying cat. Okay, come on. First thing you need to do is brown oh. some cubes stewing beef. I at least the pot is, uh, at least the pot's clean. I used um, some peanut oil, a couple tablespoons of peanut oil to brown the meat. Put the onion and you're going to cook it until the meat is brown. So is she a recipe channel now? What is she doing? I don't understand. And where the hell was my mystery Monday last week? Add some black pepper and some minced garlic and stir. Now I'm going to add a whole can. Oh, those claws. Ooh, look at that dragon claw. God, I cannot with her. It looks like a guitar pick. She glued guitar picks to her fingers. Of tomato paste, and I'm going to fry it technically with the meat and onions for a few minutes, maybe five minutes or so on medium high heat. And that will just. <laughs> you know, BB's in front of that uh, video game right now going, <laughs> still a no, bitch. Still a no. Let's remove some of the acidy, tomato y kind of taste that I don't really like in tomato paste. You'll know it's done when the tomato paste starts to get a bit darker red in color. And the cat stops meowing. And in the meantime, I just thought I would show you guys, if it'll focus, these, um... Oh, so they're bouillon cubes. Jumbos. These are the bouillon cubes I use for the, the stew. It's called jumbo, and I get them at an app. This background music has given me such anxiety, but I'm kind of living for it. Like, it's enjoyable anxiety. African uh, store. Ooh, I love that right, little, now, little spice thing. Now I added the water, beef broth, the jumbo cubes, as well as the root vegetables I'm using. You can use oh, this, she could have cut those carrots up a little more. Any root vegetables you like, turnips, um, yams. I use, just used um, Yukon gold potatoes and carrots. All right, now to reduce the heat a bit, put the lid on and let it cook until the root vegetables are mostly tender. Okay, so the mafe, I removed the lid. It will be done in about five to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna let it simmer on lower heat and you'll see some oil separation. And that's I wish I had a glow stick. 
That's when you know it's ready and ready to serve. <coughs> I'm gonna eat mine with rice. So. That is a look appetizing. I hope it uh, boils down a little bit. Well, let's get to. How you guys say? How you guys say? How are you? How are you? Is she wearing my graduation cap tassels? That purple sweater. My mom has one of those. Uh, she got rid of it in 1994. Welcome back to another dinner. So today I made mafe, which is one of my favorites and will always be one of my favorites. The hair. Can we talk about the hair? What is that? And she, oh, she's always got to have something on her clothes. The other day she had that big old dangly hair. Now she has that one piece of white thread on her. If you look at her left shoulder, but down, down her on ramp a little bit, you see that white something there is stressing me out that food i'm not sure how i feel about it it looks like i mean i think it's beef stew on top of rice right that's what it looks like to me bb introduced it to me and um hey bb i want you back now i've missed some videos before this because i'm trying to catch up if they got back together let me know in the comments that i just didn't see it i've loved it ever since it's a rich i've made it many times it's a rich West African. At least it's kind, kind of healthy. I'm going to give her that. It's not that raw, nasty flatbread. It's not bread on the side of bread. It's healthy ish. I'm going to, I'm going to give, I'm giving Foodie Beauty a win for this one. African stew made with tomato paste, peanut butter, unsweetened peanut butter. And she's got lips. This is a much better color for her. I don't know about the eyebrows, the eye, the, um, eyeshadow's too much for you, but she's got lips. And I'm really happy she, she decided to purchase a pair of lips at the dollar store. Vegetables, meat of your choice, and some broth. So to go with this, I just made a small side salad. Okay, with a little, a little too much cheese, but that's okay, fruity. It's a little too much cheese. Bit of shredded cheese. Some I wouldn't say a little bit of shredded cheese. It was a lot of shredded cheese. The main leaves that I just tore up and some tomato. And of course, I'm gonna have my creamy cuke. Of course. Dressing. Of course. Let's see how much. Just put some of that on. That's a lot. And that's a lot. We have some sriracha. I love. I do love a sriracha. I'll give her that. What? Yeah, I like to put a lot on my, my stuff. Obviously. And uh, for pickled stuff, I have some pickled beets. And I have this kimchi that I've had in the fridge. Wait a minute. What is she pick? What, 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 what? I don't understand what, for my pickled stuff. What? Is she having sides of pick? What? For a while. I don't know if it's good or not. It smells okay. But me... The next video is going to be Foodie Beauty vomiting for 24 hours straight. Try beans. I don't know if I get sick. I don't think. It's very spicy. I swear, I'm, I watch this girl and I just know what's going to... I'm becoming psychic watching her. Oh, God, she's in my head. Kimchi bite. Oh, that's... Ooh. I mean, I like kimchi, but with other, with other things. <laughs> I don't understand. What did you make? I thought you made dinner. Did you make dinner just for presentation? And you're going to eat pickled items? What is this? I don't understand it. Fun me. I double dip in these jars because I'm the only one who eats out of them. Hmm. Alright. Let's try this. <coughs> she got me joking. <coughs> Are those her appetizers? <laughs> I sound, I'm sorry. I sound like the Brady Bunch cake going through puberty, but I still guarantee you I sound better than this. Salad. Gotta mix it around. Oh, so much dressing. I cannot. You know? I miss McDonald's salads. Do you guys ever have those when they were popular? I remember growing up, I just was so in love with the- Oh, look at those nails. She could literally use those nails to poke lettuce pieces and put them in her mouth. Chef salad, along with the little egg, egg wedge in the corner, but I never ate the egg. Restaurant eggs just seem so rubbery to me. Hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't want you eating eggs <clears throat> that are below standard as you plow through raw flatbreads and crappy mozzarella sticks, you know. Thank God you have some kind of semblance of a standard when it comes to food items. Look at her, she's like, hey, BB, BB, Mafe, Mafe, BB, BB, Mafe, BB, I got the muff. And BB's like, no, bitch, mm -mm, still a no. Salad bite. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I'm not going to do the vomit. Oh, I'm so sorry for pausing it the way I did, but that's, this is not a vomit bite because at least she's eating a vegetable and I'm, I'm giving her another win for this one. <laughs> And there is the shot that I talk about that dirty old men come here for. The whole feeder thing. Nasty. Oh, wipe your mouth, woman. She's not, If she doesn't wipe her mouth, I'm going to pass out. I'm saving the beauty bite for the main. It's kind of hot. I don't think I've ever been as... 
vomitous watching someone eat a salad in my life. There's too much dressing. I love, listen, bagels with cream cheese, I eat bagels to eat cream cheese. Salads with dressing, I eat salads to eat dressing, but that's a lot of dressing. Like, I do a little drizzle. I, I measure all my stuff, but again, I am disciplined and actually trying to lose weight. So that could be the difference. So, I dropped off the application today. Oh, I must have missed something. So I contacted the rental agent. I was like, Oh, for the apartment. I'm dropping everything off. I don't understand the pickled beets. What is going on with the pickled beets? I was like, Oh, cool, okay. See you then. <coughs> Been a great story. But when I got there, and this was like at like past lunchtime. Well, I don't know. She wasn't at the desk. It was like another guy. Bring it in for a landing, Chantel. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let that go. Because I went to a beautiful wedding yesterday. I feel like a new person. I feel like I got the Lord in me. I, I feel I'm just, I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to talk about how that little piece of salad was screaming for its life. I'm going to let it go. And he was serving a woman who had two kids. I walk in. And the two kids are just, <laughs> I just like, felt like the burning of somebody staring at me. I look over and there's two kids just like staring up at me. Maybe they're, maybe they subscribe to your channel. I'm just like, um, I'm like, here, I'm just here to drop this off. Oh. Whew. I think she just had a mini stroke. He's giving me a bite. That's spicy. Beauty, beauty bite. Mm, no. a bad idea i'm gonna die on camera i'm so sorry please if i die on camera you find this footage please upload it i want this to be the last video the world of the world sees of me please <sighs> the meat is so tender so <clears throat> i handed the guy everything he said he would give it to her a rental agent no i kind of panicked why why tell us why i was like where is she <laughs> Is she viewing, giving a viewing of our apartment? Oh, she probably saw you coming and ran. Our apartment? That we might not even get? <laughs> that I'm getting with my ex-boyfriend who I cheated on with BB who I made mafe for. If I ever do a mukbang, I guarantee you and I promise you it will be so much. I'll have so much stuff to tell you. You won't even be able to keep up with me. I guarantee, I promise you that. That's why I haven't done yet because I'm still kind of boring. But once I kind of get a little more exciting, my mukbangs are going to be so much better than this. Just stay tuned. Now my uncle, you've seen his humongous, beautiful house in other videos. Oh, those beats. Mm. I used to work with a girl in a nursing home 20, 20 plus years ago. So, this is so stupid. I mean, it's only going to be funny to me. Most of you are going to be like, that's dumb, unsubscribe. But she used to, we used to work at the nursery with the food line, and we used to have beets served, served. And she's like, I don't like beets. These beets smell like dust. <laughs> and every time I lick a beets, I think those beets probably smell like dust. What does dust smell like? I don't know. Nicola Falabi, if you're out there somewhere and you're watching, comment below. What does dust smell like? And you know what she'll say? They smell like beets. He offered for me too. Not feeling the kimchi. He offered for me to um, stay at his house as long as I want because they're in Florida for the winter. <clears throat> but he doesn't live in the city. Like I was like, might be a good thing, you know, <clears throat> sometime to myself. But I can't leave the cats. Like I can't bring them because look how traumatized Sam was just from going to the hotel room. Never mind. Then to have to move them into his place, a humongous house. That they would take forever to adapt to, and then move again to a new place. I'm I mean, you could spend a night or two there. Nobody's gonna die. Later, I can't do that to them, and I can't leave them. I wouldn't want that damn cat in my house anyway. You let it ruin your furniture, and you're like, "This couch belongs to the cat, Mr. Bigglesworth." No, no, Mr. Bigglesworth still does not have a job. He's not buying couches. I can only visit them like a couple times a week because it's a little bit of a drive out. Those beats. Oh. I do like that bowl though, the the brown bowl. I might have to find some of those. Oh See, I gave her another win. I got the spirit flowing through me today. 
they were they they rely on me like every day for attention. You know, like we have a routine cuddling. What else do you do? <laughs> so. Something about something. Does she have thinning hair? This her hair looks very odd today. I can't. I can't figure it out. I, I like her better with the hair down. See, I'm giving her another damn compliment. That's I should go to a wedding every weekend. Chantel, put your hair down. So I know BB does, BB does love them. I would care for them. I just can't. I would miss them, you know? And I'd be kind of spooked like, to be in a huge house like that all by myself. I couldn't leave my dogs anywhere. I'll give her that. I love my dogs. Oh, they're so cute. I bring noise. I would be messaging BB anyways. <laughs> like, who's a ghost? <laughs> I'm sure BB would be thrilled by that. Who's a ghost? Meanwhile, BB's still in the living room going, that's still a no. <laughs> oh. I just want to find out if we got it because then I can start I can start planning. Celebrating. Um, doing better cooking videos because like the kitchen I have stuff. I, I've said this before. I get so frustrated that her, Amber Lynn, who I have to do a reaction video to. Oh, God, I have so much to do. Um, they do these filmings like in these corners and <clears throat> I don't know. Is, why, why are you so cramped in a corner? I don't get it. God, I hope she gets this place and actually has a camera that's not up her nose. There's, I don't know if there's going to be a bug in the video. <laughs> like, there was. People were just like, okay, freaking out over a bug, you know, like a little bug. Oh, I heard about the cockroach. Oh, I can't wait to watch that video. I'm going to die on camera. That's going to be the video I die on camera on. It's not my fault. We live in a building that was infested. A lot of buildings around here are, actually. It's not your fault, but let me tell you, if a roach just crawled up this wall, which is not going to happen. But if it did, I would edit that roach out. i put a little face on it. Uh, that roach would be, oh, I'm sorry for this pause again. i put a little face in that roach. I'd have, that roach, people would be like, you got Zac Efron crawling up your wall. I'd be like, yes, I do. That's Zac Efron. It's not a roach. Like, if you look up apartment buildings in Ottawa... The cheap, the affordable one? It sucks because I heard about this roach. I haven't seen it yet, but literally, I don't know if you notice my eyes wandering around. I keep looking around to see if it's going to make like a second appearance. Like, that's going to be her new guest co host. And so, like, the cheaper ones, like mine. A lot of them have bugs. She's doing Mystery Monday where the mystery is whether or not a roach is going to show up. Knock on what? I'm just thankful it's not bed bugs. Mm, I love these. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some for my mom when I see her. Is that it? Is that it? Is that normal? People love beets. I don't love beets. I, I'm, I'll eat a beet, but I don't love beets. Homemade ones. Oh. Okay, that's enough of those. I still have. So slimy. I still have calories. She counting calories now that I missed something for the last mukbang. Muk is she counting now? Is she? Is she? Probably not. So. <clears throat> That looks like General Sauce chicken on rice. Did she pretend to cook something in order of General Sauce chicken on rice? So I went out and did that today. And on the way home, I was like, oh. drove by Popeyes twice there and back. And I drove by some fast food joints. And I was like, just hold on a bit longer. <clears throat> what, what, what do you mean, hold on a bit longer? Hold on forever. <laughs> what? Sorry. <clears throat> I would clear my throat. You can make it home. I'm cook. Imagine having, I mean, I guess I do because I love food like that. But I mean, I don't know if, I don't think I'm levitating towards Wendy's right now. I'm not floating there. I mean, I could drive by to be like, oh, it's Wendy's. I love me. Let's, ooh, would you need to make a cheeseburger with a little bit of mayo on it? Got the tomatoes, the mayonnaise, the cheese, the bacon. Oh, and them square unnatural burger, uh, burger patties. But I'm not like levitating there. That's what I did today. I really wanted to make for lunch, but I just had the plantains. Those are filling, man. <laughs> but I wanted to make a, have a box of um, Annie's grass-fed uh, ch cheddar and shells, mac and cheese. 
Just because it's grass fed doesn't mean it's good for you. Cheddar and cheddar and shells. What's I don't even say what's grass fed about it. Like the milk, I guess. Like you get grass fed beef, but does that actually affect the quality of the milk? I don't know. I don't drink milk anymore. Milk is nasty. I like my almond milk. Thank you very much. No offense to you milk drinkers out there. Don't be bombarding me with pictures of cows and and uh, threatening my life. Uh, I'm just not. I I like almond milk. It's delicious. I don't know if any of you have ever had that. <laughs> Let me know. They sound good. It's not good for you. I'm sorry. It's not good for you. It's just it's gonna be a fat bomb. You don't need a fat bomb. <clears throat> and a carb bomb too, probably because it's got the shells. Oh, I, I keep pausing at the worst times. I'm, my humble apologies. Because <laughs> I want to make like a homemade mac and cheese, but like, <sighs> I guess I could try to make a healthier version. Because mac and cheese has a lot of like butter cream which are fats and you can have some fats but have a healthy fat have a little bit of eggs have a little bit of olive oil uh some sour i like some sour cream but mac and cheese just because it's organic grass like i was at costco one time and some lady really was in the aisle going honey look they got the ramen and it's organic so it's good for you and i just walked by and i was like you stupid Stuff that I'll probably pay for later. <laughs> That's so good, guys. Traditionally, it's eaten with short grain rice, but I have long grain, so it's really good. Mm. I have a big pot of this. It lasts for days. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> sure, Jan. Since we're on the Bobby Brady theme, sure, Jan. We finished the shepherd's pie. BB loved it. <laughs> oh, that pie thing made me so mad, but I'm not going to talk about that now. I'm going to save it for my video when you watch it. Ooh, that pie made me mad. I think that's a roach video too. I haven't seen it yet, but something about the pie made me mad. We'll explain it in the next video. Like, loved it. I mean, even though we're not together, doesn't mean I don't. I can't cook or like I live here too, you know. <laughs> and be like, no, make your own food. Like I'm not like that. And like, why would I like, we still really care for each other. And back to BB in the living room. Still a no. 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 But, so yeah, I'm like, it's like waiting for a job. Waiting to see if you got a job or not. You know, it's like, every so often you think about it, well, the waiting is the worst, you know, and then, ugh. This really sucks. I hope we find out soon. <laughs> uh, BB's like, yes, please, hope, pray. I mean, uh, it's just not a meal you should have on a diet. When you're disciplined and you're counting your calories and you're further in your journey, yes, you can portion out the rice. And But I don't know. It's just like... Uh, do you ever watch my 600 pound life? Dr. Now would not be happy with this meal. He said, Chantal, you could have lost 30 pounds this month. And Chantal's like, but that rice was good. So it was worth it. And Dr. Now would kick her out of the program. But yeah. I keep picturing it. <laughs> like the kitchen, like what I can do in that kitchen. The videos I can make. The things I could cook. You don't do anything but eat and barely talk. You can't. You could do that in the back alley if you had to. You know? Anyway. That was very good. I was craving it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So I guess I'll end the video here. I'm done. But um, just wanted to have dinner with you guys. And yeah, so thanks for joining me again tonight. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. All right, I was feeling blessed and not stressed today, and I gave Chantal some wins. I gave her a few wins. I gave her the salad win. Um, I gave her the hair, look good with the hair down win. I gave her some wins. There were some losses in this meal. I think there was too much rice. That purple sweater was a loss. 
Uh, those tassels hanging from her ears were losses. I think there are some high school students who are really get real pissed when they realize they no longer have their tassels for graduation. Other than that, though, I'm going to give her some wins. There were no roaches crawling up. That's another win. So, um, yeah. It was a good video. Um, I'm going to keep it short at the end here because my voice is still going, but um, everyone has been watching. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. I look forward to continue doing this. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking down on the subscribe button down below. Click on the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Means you like it. And if you like it, my channel grows. And when my channel grows, you get more of this content. You're going to get it anyway, but it doesn't cost you anything. Just like it. And of course, if you want to share this video on other social media, please do so. No need to ask. Take it. Share it. Love it. Let the world see it. Let them come to me. Let's get this channel going. So uh, thank you again for watching. And until next time, we'll talk soon.